My name is James Plum, and I'm the Deputy Project Director of the Missouri Department of Transportation, and this is the Improve I-70 Kansas City Project. This year on the job, we're in phase one of construction. This includes replacement of the bridge at 23rd Street, a new bridge at 25th Street, and we're currently building up the dirt at the Jackson Benton curves to prep for realignment in future years. Here at 23rd Street, since the beginning of this summer, we've been working on getting up out of the ground. And so that includes construction of the median columns, as well as our walls on the edge of the interstate. That then allowed us to set our girders across the highway. And so we were able to come in in one weekend and set all the girders, all 34 girders across the interstate which then allowed us to begin the construction of the bridge deck. So before we demolished this bridge, the bridge actually had a low clearance sign in place. This meant the vehicles that were traveling down the highway that were higher than a certain height had to find an alternate route. With these new girders in place, they're shallower, which will allow more commerce and freight to move down this highway in the future. In order to construct the driving surface, we have to install all this reinforcing steel on the top of it and get it in the right spacing in the right location. And that's what we're currently doing right now is getting the barrier steel tied, the deck steel tied, and getting it all prepped for our deck pour. We'll actually have concrete trucks out here and pump trucks one night to pour all the concrete for this deck in one pour. We're also off the ends of the bridge on the roadway portion, tearing out the old asphalt and concrete and beginning replacement of water lines and drainage systems. And then that will then lead us to replacing the pavement and pouring new concrete, new striping. We're currently on schedule, looking to open it by the end of the year. When I-70 was built back in the 1960s, along this corridor, there were actually two pedestrian bridges built located at Oakley and at Cyprus. We've looked at the corridor to try to figure out where these pedestrian bridges would best suit the community that we're building this project in. Through the process, we've determined to keep the pedestrian bridge at Oakley, just to replace it in its exact spot. But for the pedestrian bridge that's at Cyprus, we've actually seen a better need for it to be moved over from Cyprus over to here along 25th Street. Previously, we've seen the columns being constructed in the median of I-70 and on the outside edges. Since that time, we've built the concrete abutments on both ends of the bridge and set the concrete girders that actually span the interstate. For the next few months, work that will continue out here is to actually put the reinforcing steel and the concrete bridge deck on top of these girders and then connect the sidewalk from both sides on the east and the west to the pedestrian bridge. Today we're out here at the Benton Curve working on building fills in the median of I-70. Traffic right now is currently running on the existing westbound I-70 lanes and we're in the median building the fills up for where the future alignment will be in 2027. Through our engineering analysis and judgment, we've identified Benton as an area in which we'll have a large amount of settlement. And so we're using wick drains out here to accelerate that settlement so that we can get as much of the settlement out before we pave the new highway on it. So the material I'm holding right now is the wick drain. And essentially all that it is, is a corrugated piece of plastic with a fabric on both sides that wraps around it. So we're able to actually push the wick drain material deep into the compressible soils and it acts like a paper towel wicking that water from the lower level up to the drier higher levels. The alternative here is that we would have to build our embankments up and let the ground naturally settle over two to three years. We're about a month later here since the installation of the wick drains and so now over this past few weeks we've been installing and placing dirt from various locations along the corridor to build the fill and to build the level of the dirt here at the Benton Curve. A lot of this dirt that you're seeing behind me right now is actually coming from eastbound I-70 from in between Lister to Van Brunt. We have a very steep slope that we've been pulling dirt out of and trucking it here and placing it to build this area up. We've also started the construction of the westbound I-70 bridge over Benton Boulevard. Over here you can see um, some of the bridge parts that will actually go into the ground for our foundations. This is bridge H piling that we will drive into the ground for our foundations to hold up our girders. What that will eventually allow us to do at the, by the end of the project 
is to move westbound I-70 from its current location, move it to the south here to where it parallels more of eastbound I-70. Down here at the Jackson Curve, we've seen the work progress this summer. This has included work behind me, building up our dirt fills for the realignment of eastbound I-70 to move closer to westbound I-70. A lot of the dirt that you see behind me has come either from the detention basin or other areas along the corridor. By raising the elevation here at the Jackson Curve, ultimately that will allow us to move eastbound I-70 over to where it parallels westbound I-70 more. This will improve the driver experience as they go through the curve. Now that we're done placing dirt here, our focus has switched to where we're constructing the eastbound I-70 bridge over Jackson Avenue. Over the past couple months here during the summer at the Jackson Avenue Bridge, we've really worked from the ground up in constructing this bridge. So that's included putting the foundations in the ground, building our ends of the bridge and our columns up. Over the next few months, the changes that you'll see is we'll set the girders over the roadway and then we'll start setting our reinforcing steel and placing the concrete deck on top of those girders. In addition to changing the radius of the Jackson Curve as it is right now, we're also going to be widening eastbound I-70 to allow a fourth lane of traffic to be able to come through. That will improve the driver experience on a day-to-day -day basis as they drive through this corridor. As the work progresses on schedule on the Improve I-70 Kansas City project, we want to thank everyone who's driven through our work zones as they paid attention to the signs and the speed limits that are up and driven safely through and ask that they continue to pay attention as we have shifting lane drops and changing conditions. For more information, you can follow us on our website at modot.org and follow Modot Kansas City on social media.